Hello there! So today, I will be showing you on how to add data to your HRIS or the Human Resources Information System. Now first, go to the address bar and type hris.defed10.com and hit enter. Now you can see the login page of the system. Please enter your DepEd email address here and then the password and click login. Now you can see the dashboard of the system. Now to proceed, please click my details here. Yeah, and so you can see now your personal details. Now please click personal info tab, this one. Yeah, and so may mga blank fields po dito na kailangan nyo pong lagyan ng necessary information nyo po bago nyo i-click yung apply changes para lahat ng information or data na nilagay nyo dito ay masasave dito sa ating system. Now, next, please click Contact Info tab, this one. Yan, so ganun din po. May mga blank fields dito na kailangan nyo pong lagyan ng information. The permanent address, the residential address, and the contact person in case of emergency. So ganun din po, pagkatapos nyo lagyan lahat ng information dito, please click Apply Changes para po masave yung mga information or data na nilagay ninyo. Next. Please click Family tab, this one. Okay, so Family tab, ito po yung makikita ninyo. So please click Family button here. So dito sa Add Family Info, select lang po kayo ng Relationship Type. Yan, example, Father. And then lagay nyo po yung information dito. Yan, at saka pagkatapos, click nyo po yung Add Records. Okay, so next please click Education tab, this one. Yan, sa Education tab po, ganun din. May makikita kayong Education button. Please click that one. Yan, so lalabas itong educa Add Education na window. So, select lang po kayo ng Educational level. Yan, College, Elementary, High School, Masteral, or Vocational. Pagkatapos nyo mag-select ng Educational level, lagyan nyo po lahat ng information dito. Then after that, please click Add Record para po masave yung data na nilagay ninyo. Next is the Work Experience. Same din po, please click Work Experience button at ito yung lalabas. Here, include private employment, start from your recent or current work. So, lagay niyo po yung company name, yung position title, yung date from, and to lahat ng yan, lagyan niyo po ng information or data. And then, pagkatapos, click Save Record. Okay. So, next is the eligibility. Dito po, same din po. Click nyo po yung eligibility button. And then, click nyo po yung eligibility title niyo, yung rating, date of exam, place of exam, lahat ng yan. Lagyan nyo po ng information. And then, pagkatapos, click Save Record. Okay. Itong service record, Leave it blank lang muna, tsaka yung leave history, wala tayong gagawin dyan, tsaka yung documents. Now, sa training tab, this one, click training button, and then type nyo po yung training title dito. Yun pong mga natin na ninyo na training. Yan, lahat ng yan, lagyan nyo ng information. At dito sa upload certificate, i-upload nyo po dito yung e-copy or scan copy ng certificate ninyo. Pagkatapos, click nyo po yung save record. Okay, for the awards and recognition, ganun din po. Click nyo po yung button ng awards and recognition. And then, lalagay nyo po yung information, award title, category, school year, and then the certificate dito. Click nyo po yung choose file. At saka, piliin nyo po kung saan nyo nakasave yung e-copy ng iyong certificate. Pagkatapos, click nyo po yung add award. Okay, for the performance, click nyo po yung performance button. Yan, lagay nyo po yung mga necessary information dito at saka yung performance file or yung IPCRF files ninyo. Okay, and then click submit para po masave yung mga information. For the researches, okay, click add research button at ilalagay nyo po dito yung mga title of research na na-conduct ninyo or yung year conducted at saka yung category kung school level ba, district, division, regional, or National. Pagkatapos, click nyo po yung submit. Okay. Next is the expertise. Yan. 
Click nyo po yung expertise button. Yan. Tsaka i-add nyo po dito kung ano yung expertise niyo. Sa akin, nilagay ko na po yung computer troubleshooting at saka networking. So, click nyo lang yan. Tapos, lagay nyo po yung expertise niyo at saka click add para po ma-save yung expertise niyo. Okay. For the affiliation. Yan. So, click nyo po yung affiliation button. At saka ilalagay nyo po yung any affiliation na connected kayo. Okay. Then, add, click add button. Next is the voluntary work. Click voluntary works button. Yan. So, lagay nyo po yung organization name, address, position, date from, and to, at the same time, number of hours. Magkatapos, save record. Okay? Other information. So, dito may mga, may eight questions dito. Ay, seven questions. Kailangan nyo lang pong i-check yung box kung yes. At saka, Kung no naman, check nyo lang po yung box. After that, click nyo po yung update changes para ma-save yung mga answers niyo. Okay, for the references tab, yan, click nyo po yung references button. Yan, lagay nyo po yung reference name, click address, contact info, and then click add. Katapos, tapos na kayo. Ganun lang po yung pag-add ng information dito sa HRIS. So, thank you!